Hi, Irene. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Elizabeth. Irene, hello. Very good. Norma, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening nice teacher. to see you, Irene. Thank you. Very nice. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Henry. Hi, teacher. Hi, Henry. Henry estuvo en clase ayer conmigo. Yes, I do. Hmm. Sí, verdad. Yes. I'm sorry. Es, es, es. Laura. <laughs> Very good. No problem, teacher. No problem. Thank you, Henry. Very nice. Hi, Norma. How are you? ¿Qué tal el día? ¿Todos y todas les fue bien en el día? ¿Sí? ¿Todo bien? So far, yes, so good, teacher. teacher. Excellent. So Excellent. It very was nice. relaxing, teacher. Oh, very nice. Lucky you. <laughs> wow, very good. All right, so I guess our classmates are going to be coming in soon. All right. Hi, Normita. Hi, Norma. Hi, Norma. Good evening. ¿Cómo le fue ahora en el día, Norma? ¿Todo bien? ¿Everything okay? Yes, teacher, but eh. very tired. Because I we had uh, uh, people. And you had what, Norma? Hire. Hi. Ah, you had to hire people today. Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. Okay process is very tight yeah i know I, I i imagine oh my goodness norma all right very good is it raining by your houses guys or not really no in santana no okay yeah okay <laughs> lucky you <laughs> it's raining here again <laughs> all right very good hi eli larin welcome very nice to have you in class elita all right Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Good night. Hey. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> Very nice. A ver, Jose Luis. Hello, Jose Luis. How are you? A ver. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez, I'm right? Very good. I am here. Yes, I'm sorry. Hello, good evening. Good evening. I am great, teacher. And you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just, I'm doing fine. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Ready for the second class of the week with you guys. I just finished another class right now. So. Hi, Oscar. How do you do today? I'm doing fine. Yes, I'm doing okay. I just finished another class. I have another class before your class. I see. Yeah, but it's interesting, uh, you know, because I have a basic one. So uh -huh. it's very different to switch my CD. <laughs> more difficult. It's more difficult. Yeah, you know what? I like it because it's a uh -huh. challenge. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, wow. but the group is very nice. It's a very nice group. So I have the extremes. I have Principiante Uno and I have Avanzado Uno. And this group is the highest, oh, is the most advanced okay. right now. So okay. I have like the, uh, <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Right. But it's you, nice. like, you like to teach. Yeah, I like to teach. It's fun. I get to know uh -huh. people and that's nice and share my, my little knowledge I got. Hi, Williams. Hi, Williams. Williams, why so serious today? <laughs> say, say hello. Say hello. <laughs> yeah. Oh. He's probably having like um, internet connections. All right, guys, so welcome to the second class of this program, all right? So thank you so much for being with us right on time. Okay, so that's very nice to have you here. So today, guys, as I explained yesterday, we're, gonna, we're going to talk about something that has nothing to do with grammar, okay? It's more like a speaking topic. Most of our topics in the advanced course is for you to speak okay so yesterday yeah we did some grammar stuff with the uh, pair conjunctions but then again nothing very difficult because you already know them okay but before i begin with a new topic that corresponds for this class i want to give you an announcement okay i know that you guys all understand english but i'm going to give the announcement in spanish okay just to be on the safe side Aparte de las clases, nosotros recibimos de lunes a viernes, de 8 a 10 de la noche, eh, eh, 
tenemos también una sesión de apoyo. Esta sesión de apoyo es los miércoles, todos los miércoles de su módulo, ¿verdad? Esa sesión es 10 minutos por cada participante. Entonces, ya sea, no sé si ya les enviaron ese correo con esa información, pero si no, se lo van a hacer no, llegar entre mañana y miércoles en la mañana, más o menos. Entonces, ¿a qué hora? Se me va a decir, teacher, ¿a qué hora es esa sesión de apoyo? La sesión de apoyo es, nomás terminemos esta clase, de 10 a 11. Ahora, no todos se van a conectar a la sesión de apoyo el mismo miércoles. Entonces, de parte de inglés corporativo, sí, sí, sí. les mandan un horario. De la sesión de apoyo es 10 minutos por participante. Entonces, quiere decir que yo mañana me voy a, voy a estar acá, después de la noche de, su, de nuestra clase, y por, por decirle algo, no estoy diciendo que ese es el orden, Norma tiene la sesión de apoyo de 10 de la noche a 10.10. 10. Son 10 minutitos, no voy a creer que es otra hora. ¿Verdad? 10 minutitos. Y usted me dice, ¿sobre qué, teacher? Si yo ya hablo full English. Pues entonces practiquemos lo más por 10 minutos más, solo usted y yo. Porque solo va a estar Norma y yo, nada más. ¿Verdad? A las 10.10, 10, Norma se desconecta y entra Eric Mauricio, por ejemplo, de 10.10 10 a 10.20. 10, solo son 10 minutos. ¿Verdad? A las 10 y 20, Eric Mauricio se desconecta y por decirle algo, entra Oscar. De 10.20 a 10 y media, ¿verdad? Entonces, la idea es, compañeros, que eh, la, el horario que le asignen, ese es el horario que usted debe respetar. Porque si no, por ejemplo, si Norma entró de 10, de 10 a 10.10, 10, pero Williams quiere entrar, no lo, no, la plataforma no le va a dar acceso que ya hay una reunión en curso, ¿verdad? Porque ya hay alguien conmigo. Entonces, eh, no puede eh, interrumpir por decir algo y tampoco si usted dice, ¡Ih! mi reunión era a las 10 y 10, pero voy a entrar a las 10 y media. No, porque ya tengo yo a la otra, al otro compañero que está conmigo a esa hora. Entonces, es importante que ustedes se recuerden a qué horas le fue asignado su horario, sus su 10 minutos y entra a esa hora. El enlace es diferente. El enlace para nuestras clases es este mismo por todo el curso pero el enlace para la sesión de apoyo es diferente. Entonces, igual, cuando ya le manden la información de a qué hora se va a conectar usted el día de mañana, porque mañana es miércoles, entonces también le van a dar el nuevo enlace para nada más la sesión de apoyo. No se vaya a confundir y entre a esa sesión de apoyo a las 8 de la noche, ahí no va a haber nadie, ¿verdad? Es a partir de las 10 de la noche, ¿verdad? Y si usted me dice, no nada, tranquila, ¿verdad? O tranquilo, no le correspondía entrar en esta, en esta semana, le va a tocar la siguiente semana, que valga aclarar la siguiente semana en vacación, ¿verdad? Eso es importante. Entonces sería hasta después de vacación, cuando retomemos nuestras clases, usted entraría en ese, en ese, en ese momento, ¿verdad? Entonces la idea es que cada, cada participante tenga y goce de esos 10 minutos por, en, durante el, la, el módulo, ¿verdad? No es que todos los miércoles usted se va a tener que conectar, solo se conecta eh, una vez cuando se le sea asignado. Entonces estén pendientes del correo, por favor, eh, porque ahí le van a hacer llegar la información, tanto de a la hora que le toca y el, si en el caso le va a tocar este miércoles, ¿verdad? Y el enlace para que usted se pueda conectar mañana a su sesión de apoyo igual conmigo, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí usted puede aprovechar. Bueno, hablemos, teacher, de algo. En inglés. Me dice, mire, teacher, a mí que siempre me ha costado la voz pasiva, yo le voy a decir, de veras, si es tan fácil, se la voy a repetir, se la voy a recordar en 10 minutos, ¿verdad? Entonces, la idea es tener esos 10 minutos donde usted me puede hacer preguntas sobre el inglés, obviamente, y o de los temas que hemos estado viendo, pero como ya no es tan gramático como en el básico 1, por ejemplo, ¿Verdad? Entonces podemos tener un, un, un tema de conversación y practicamos 10 minutos. ¿Ok? ¿Entendimos esa dinámica de mañana, compañeros? ¿Sí? Yes. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok, very good. Ok, entonces espera ese correo y esté pendiente. Si no le llegó la información es porque no le toca mañana, sino que le va a tocar hasta después de vacación. All right, Very good. All right, very good. Uh, nosotros tenemos 12 horas. 
A 12, ah, hemos entrado con 12 compañeros, pero igual van a, van a seguir ingresando a medida vamos avanzando. Con... Very good. So yesterday we were talking about pair conjunctions. Remember that we were using not only but also, and we were also using both and. All right. Now, right now, what how we learned it yesterday or how we practiced it yesterday. It was using the conjunction, the pair conjunction, not only but also at the beginning of your sentence. On the following week, we're going to see some differences. Remember, I think I was talking to Eric Mauricio yesterday, and I can't remember who else, but I said, for now, we're going to learn it this way, all right? That is at the beginning but there are other ways that we can move the pair conjunction within the sentence and it's okay all right so we're gonna uh, we're gonna wait for the time for the right time to come and then when it's time i will show you with you the different ways to place the pair conjunctions but today or yesterday we were placing the pair conjunctions at the beginning of the sentence all right not only, whoa, not only it's raining but it's also cold for example all right so that's how we were like doing it yesterday okay now as i said today we're not going to talk about grammar today we're talking about something different i'm going to share with you the uh the manual that we use or the booklet that we use here no sé si ya descargaron todos su um su manual que está eh, en, la, en la plataforma, ¿ya tuvieron acceso a ese? Sí. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. Sí. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, I, I haven't checked it. Yo no lo he ya. Está dentro de la plataforma, solo déjeme que se lo pongo ahorita. Eh, mm -hmm. Está dentro de la plataforma para que ustedes lo puedan descargar. ¿Verdad? Entonces está ahí. Si no lo tiene a la mano ahorita, no se preocupe. Solo déjeme que no lo... Voy a poner acá. A ver, se lo voy a... A ver, no sé. Wait, give me a second, guys, because I, I have so many things open right now. Okay, here we go. There you go, yeah. Okay, so this is the manual that we're using, okay? The student manual. This is the one that you have in the platform. So you can download it from there so you can have access to it, all right? So today, guys, I just wanna show you, right now we're in unit one, of course, and then, eh, no se preocupe if you say, si ya lo descargo y me dice, teacher, pero mire, la página 10 no la hicimos, ni la 9, no, no se preocupe, yo sé que no la hemos hecho. Hicimos esto ayer, all right? To use pair conjunctions, part one. Okay, so that's why yesterday we were talking about not only, but also no. both and. So this is what we did yesterday, okay? So if you notice here, a ver, Jose Luis, eh, can you read this please? Not only did he get a scholarship. Where? Where? Here, Jose Luis, not only, so but also. Show me, please. Not, not only did uh -huh. okay. Not only did he get a scholarship, but also he got a sponsor to finish his. His studies, right? Very good. All right. Okay. Very good. Jessenia, can you read this one for me, please? Jesse, can you read this one? Okay. The company offered not only training sessions, but also a me mentorship program. Excellent, Jesse. Thank you. The company offered not only training sessions, but also a mentorship program. All right. Very good. Williams, can you read this one, please? Both. Okay. Both feedback and mentorship are important elements of professional development. Development, thank you, Williams. That sounded very nice. Irene, can you please read this one, honey? Both, right here, letter B. Okay, both new and experienced 
students? Yes. Employees can join the training. Yes, very nice. Thank you, Irene. Both new and experienced employees can join the can join the training. Okay. So if you notice here, guys, we're using not only but also and both and at the beginning of your sentences. Okay. That is why yesterday we were using it that way. After in the future classes, we nos vamos a dar cuenta that we can move the, not the pair conjunction within your sentence, okay? So this is what I wanted to show you here. Um, I want us to, let, let, let's try to do this one here. Oscar, can you help me read this sentence for us, please? The number one? Please, yes. Okay, let me, let me see. Okay, not only training, but also formal education affect an employee and employee's professional development. All right, very good, Oscar. You can use no, um, not only, but also, or in this case, they were giving you either A or B. A cannot be because we have not studied that pair conjunction yet. We will later on, all right? But that's okay. Uh -huh. It sense what you said. But in this case, they wanted you to underline or to choose letter B, all right? Perfect, no problem. Okay. Norma, can you try to do number two and choose the right answer, either A or B, Norma? Letter teacher? Uh, number two, Norma. Uh, this one right here, can you see, Norma? Yes, yes. Okay. Not only are only are online courses an affordable, affordable way to learn, but also they are a good way to both do. Resume. Your resume. Very good. Resume. All right. Your resume. Very good. So you say not only are online courses an affordable way to learn, but also they are a good way to boost your resume. Do you to boost your resume when you say you boost it up do you understand that guys yeah. I don't understand word. all right when you say to boost it is to like make it greater like higher like you can bring it up you can like have like a resaltarlo you know kind of like a, you improve it all right so to boost Whoa. it up all right very good Eric Mauricio do you mind reading number three Okay, uh, both experience and education are requirements to get a promotion. Perfect, thank you. All right, both experience and education are requirements to get a promotion. Thank you so much, very nice. All right, let's see. Uh, Eric Diaz, can you do number four for us and choose letter A or letter B? In this case, I choose the letter let him be. Okay, can you read it? Please tell us uh, with the answer that you chose. Okay. People okay. interested in professional development can not only subscribe to our new, new letters mm -hmm. to get more information on course, but also mm -hmm. um, re register. Regi I register? Register? register for new course no, no. Notifications. notifications very good yes thank you very nice diana hi diana diana can you read number five for us and choose what is the best answer for you if it's letter a or letter b okay i think it's letter a not not only but also people interest in uh, letter b then for number five, Diana. Diana. For number five. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. The That's company, okay. the company, not only uh, needed a manager to encourage training opportunities, but also a person to work closely with employees' professional development. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good. All right. Um, let's see. Gerardo. Hi, Gerardo. Can you read number six for us? This one right here, Gerardo. Hello. Okay. Number six, uh, I think the num the letter A. Okay. It's uh, it's it's the uh, it is the responsibility of the leader both to encourage learning of the new skills 
and to promote the participation of the employees in trainings and coaching sessions. And in coaching sessions. Very good, Session. Gerardo. Thank you. Yes. All right. So it is the responsibility of a leader both to encourage learning of new skills and to promote the participation of employees in trainings and coaching. All right. So this is the way, guys, we're going to be um, learning for now the pair conjunctions. All right. Later, as I said, we're going to place the pair conjunctions in a different position. Okay. So this is pretty much now. If you notice through this exercise, we uh, encounter a, like several times this word that I'm going, this um, title that I'm going to underline right now. Can you see what I just underlined in blue or highlighted? Yeah. What yeah. does it say? Professional, Professional development. development. Right. Development. Professional development. All right. So that takes us. Very good. Hi, Jennifer. All right. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry, I didn't say hi to you. Moises, also welcome. Very nice. And Irene as well. Very good. Okay. Thank so, you, professional teacher. development is the topic that we are about to talk about this evening. All right. As I said, we're not going to talk about the grammar stuff today so much, but rather a speaking topic. So, I'm going to share with you the presentation I have, which is this one right here. All right. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Professional development. Okay. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And I'm going to guide you through it, but I want you, I want you to do the speaking. All right. Because that's, that's what you're here for to like speak a little bit more. Now, these are the items or the, the points that we're going to cover in class. It says, number one, what is PD professional development? All right what types of professional development and the definition of each, all right? And also we're gonna be talking about the benefits of professional development. If you're asking what is PD teacher? Professional development, right? That thing is like, the, it's very like a long word. So PD, all right, very good. So we're gonna be talking about what is it? The types, the definitions and the benefits, okay? Now, our class today is benefit of professional development, but I want to take you through these steps for us to get to the core of the class, which is the benefits of having professional development trainings or programs in our workplaces, okay? Okay. Let's see. Uh, I want to volunteer to read this definition. It says, no, but you know what? No, wait a minute. Before we do that, I want you guys to tell me what is professional what is professional development for you? How do you define professional development? What is it? What is professional development? How can you define it? Remember that I said yesterday that I want you to take an active role on your learning. So I do want you to participate and to give me ideas, all right? What is right. professional development? Okay. Yes, go ahead. I like that. Yes, Jesse, and then Diana. Uh -huh. Okay. I think, but I don't know the, the concept. Okay. That's but okay. I think that professional development is the, when the people improve the mm -hmm. skill that they use okay. inside the home. I All right. think in that. Perfect, Jesse. Very nice. Okay, more ideas. Diana, what were you going to say to me? Okay, I think in a few words, professional development is to improve, uh, to improve yourself as an, as an employee or okay. as a person All right. uh, in, inside of a company. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Well Thank said. You. Very good. Who else? Uh -huh, guys, what happened to the guys? Uh-huh. What is professional development? When I say professional um, development, what comes to your mind? Um, it comes to, to my mind uh, a career. Okay. And then it's a it's a it's a rise on your on your skills. Okay. All right. And Interesting. Not not only uh, the the improvement, but also the 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 rise of knowledge. Mm -hmm. I mean the 
in in a uh, related to a career. All right. Okay. So you have to be focused on on a, on a career. I mean, in, in a path. All right. Because you can be you can be developing many many skills, but no no focus. For me, right. it's important to focus. Okay. All right. Thank you, Oscar. Very well said. Nice, Henry. Tell us. Eh, guys, solo antes de Henry, acordémonos de los micrófonos, hay como mucha bulla o interferencia por su casita. ¿Va? Eh, los micrófonos apagaditos para que podamos escuchar todos y todas. Thank you. Henry, ajá, tell us. Teacher, for me, professional development, maybe are the skills I have, but mm -hmm. I develop in my work and in my life. All right, okay, interesting, very good. Thank you. Who else? Uh, Who else is going to say something? Yes, Eddie. Mauricio. For me, it could be um, besides all my 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 partners said, um, it's uh, to grow within a company, get uh, get promotions, uh, grown. Uh, not only in knowledge, but also in in, in skills. Right. Uh, okay. That's for me. Thank you, Eric. Very well said. Nice. Thank you. All right. What about guys? Solo recordarles también de la parte de los micrófonos, las camaritas, si las necesito encendidas. Thank you. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. eh, a ver, quién más? Who else, guys? Elizabeth Salguero, what do you think? What is professional development? Uh -huh. um, the professional development uh, can be when someone person uh, can be realized in different, different areas. In different areas, yes. All right. Okay. I Very good. That. Okay, that's okay, Elizabeth. Thank you. Williams, what do you think? I think it's when you know about uh, a specific item, uh, okay. but you know uh, a lot of about that. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Gerardo, Norma, Moises, Eli. Thank you, Chair. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, Moises. Uh, maybe the professional development uh, are the knowledge and the skill. Okay. That we have or we we put in in action mm -hmm. when we are in the in the in the job. All right. Very good. Okay. Very nice. One more. I need one more. Uh, I think the the professional development uh, achieving objectives. Uh, Achieve. Okay. Uh -huh. With the with the organization okay. or individual effort. Okay. Ah, very nice. I like that, that Gerardo. Very good. You know what? Thank you so much, guys. Um, I was just about to ask you now, professional development, can it just be reached because your boss, your supervisor, the company that you work for, they offer those professional development or you as an individual, as a person, you choose to have professional development how does it work for you guys can be teacher the boss okay because in, in the related to the the, the own people the personal need to grow up in their skill mm -hmm. and also uh, need to accomplishment all the goals and the requirement by Actual job, okay. So actual job description because okay. if the people is enough uh, with actual position, mm -hmm. the people mm -hmm. can be uh, grow up for other positions with more responsibilities. Okay. Or with others capabilities too. Okay, capabilities. And right. uh, when the boss or supervisor right. notice that is forming mm -hmm. uh, for individual personal mm -hmm. uh, uh, skills. Right. The result uh, for that people, the supervisor notice that that uh, grow up, individual grow up. Right. Uh, individual growth. growth. Okay. Growth. And All then right. 
offer another position ah. or two so years. All right. Or, the, or top manager. Mm -hmm. okay. One people can be um, participate in the new position or okay. the open position with All right. multiple possibilities. Okay, interesting. All right, very good. Thank you, Norma. That was very interesting. All right, guys, what about the rest of you? What do you think? Is it just because your boss, your manager, your supervisor, the company that you work for, they tell you, okay, we work for this or we want to um, help you out with your professional development or is it something also personal? It's both, Trisha. Mm -hmm. It's both because the manager uh, have uh, the capacity mm -hmm. to to see to see the the many kinds of knowledge or skills about the work okay. um, depends to us too because um, because uh, we need to interest uh, about the job okay and uh, sometimes uh, the people <coughs> or yes. the person yes. uh, not uh, have not um, doesn't have, have not interest about the job okay. and okay. and they don't uh, increase uh, mm. the knowledge okay and they don't um, don't have an opportunity to to grow up inside the company okay to grow inside the company all right interesting all right Vero what do you think yeah, yes 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 who said I think? Yes. All right, very good. Okay, Diana or Vero, what do you guys think? Irene, do I have two Irenes? Irene Lima, do I have another Irene? Uh, no, teacher, it's the same, but okay. uh, in, in my in myself, uh, it's difficult um, for the C. Ah, <laughs> it's very okay. it's, all right, no, Irene, that's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, <laughs> Sorry. No, that's okay. But, that's why I was checking okay. my list. I'm thinking, do I have two Irenes? <laughs> No, right. no, I get it. That's uh, okay. Perfect. Thank I you. Saw, I saw in my, in my screen the, the information. In, oh, in, yeah, I get it. No, perfect. It's, it's, okay. <laughs> it's okay, Irene. Okay. It's perfect. Thank you. All right. Vero or Diana, what, what, what do you guys, what do you girls think about professional development? Is it personal or is it just because they tell you to, they tell you to? I think it works in both ways. Right. Because then. Uh, you can take the opportunities that your company gives to you mm -hmm. to to improve your skills, but right. you can also uh, take uh, look for the opportunities right. by yourself. Right. So okay. I think it, it works in both, both ways. ways. Okay. Perfect. Okay. One more opinion, and then I'm going to ask you something else. <laughs> okay. May, may I? I did you? Yes, of course, I, Irene. Yes, you may. Okay. Uh, f for me, the opportunities uh, is depend of the enterprise and, and the boss okay because in, in some enterprise uh, the professional professional development is a uh, is a court and mm -hmm. um, that the level or experience or uh, studies okay. but in other okay. but in other enterprise uh, is uh, is more important um, the attitude okay the right. attitude the okay. attitude the, the the knowledge and sometimes and the <laughs> you okay are you know yeah. all right but okay. uh, um, some enterprise um valora they they worth uh -huh. or they, they they take into account uh-huh they, they account the experience and other okay. things important right. for me. Okay, very good. All right, now I have a question, guys. You are taking English classes, yes? Yes, please. You are all here yeah. with me, all right? Yes. Is good. this good. being uh, in class professional development for you? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Of course. Yes. Yes. Yeah, tell me why. Yes. Uh, for example, in my case, teacher, uh, the information is uh, the information, the specifications uh, of TEPA, I use in English. Okay. Uh, 
the the development department mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> send me in English all information. Okay. And I try to to tra translate right uh, to Spanish. All right. Uh, for me, uh, for me and the other people, right? And the okay. other partners. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Very good. Anybody else? Now, is this the you being here involved in this program, enrolled in this program, part of your professional development? Yes. For me, I think it is it's a Dennis professional said. development. Okay. Why, Jesse? Because because when you want to <laughs> take a job. <laughs> Mm -hmm. One requirement for you is uh, take in some jobs is take uh, two languages. Okay, and yeah. that's very important. All to right, very important. A new job okay. or improve your level uh -huh. of of your job in, inside your job. Maybe. Okay, all right. But not only, but not only, learn new languages is a uh, professional development because some people had a lot of knowledge, uh -huh. but don't have very good behaviors. Oh, all and, right. Uh, professional development, how to join it with right. a good behavior ah. inside that group. All right, I interesting. That. All right, very good. Thank you, Jesse. That's very interesting. Eric, Mauricio, and then Williams. Uh, hi, Eric, tell us. Um, okay, I think uh, being here is uh, professional development right. because knowing second language uh, makes us uh, more competitive that's right and also, um, get better opportunities right yes okay very good aha uh -huh, williams thank you eric very good williams tell us yes i work i work for at uh, ngo so uh, we work with uh, different teams from the united states uh, we worked in different communities around the country so uh, sometimes we don't have uh, a lot of uh, or enough people to translate right so uh, in this case for me it's really difficult working with uh, teams right so, so i need it <laughs> okay now this takes me to another question you see this is like this is how it's gonna be guys okay me asking you questions now who told you to study or to get enrolled in this program was it your decision by your supervisor, by your boss, by someone, or was it your own personal choice? Tell it, tell me, uh -huh, I want to hear. <laughs> it was my personal, my personal choice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. In my case, good teacher. Okay. Very good. What about the rest? Be honest, guys. <laughs> okay. In my case, it's a personal. Okay. Election can be because sure. I have to talk with my principal to give me that uh, opportunity oh, okay. to improve my English level. All right, get it. Okay, very good. Diana, you were going to say something? Uh, yes, teacher. In my case, it, it was my personal uh, choice too. Okay. All right. Excellent. Well, in my Congratulations. Case, for me, it's yes, a personal, personal decision. Too. <laughs> okay, nice. Very good. Uh, yeah, yes. Irene, tell me. Okay. For me, teacher, is both because uh, always the people uh, found to be best. Okay. Uh huh. And, and for for me, is is both. Okay. For for uh, to get um, a best employee, maybe. Okay. All right. And and, and I feel better. All right. Too. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Williams, were you going to say something else? <clears throat> no, right? Okay. Your hand is uh -huh. Yes, Oscar, you were going to say something and then someone else. Yes. Yeah, uh, I, I requested to be included in this program. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you, but it's raining cats and dogs here again. Uh -huh. Oh, again, again. Okay. I requested to be included on this program because I, I thought it was important for my professional development. 
and for my English improvement. And then I I did it and I'm here. I'm, it's nice. Super, thank you. Who else was gonna say Maybe something? Yes, tell me. Yes. Yes, Maybe, pero. Maybe in in my case, uh, not only is professional but also is personal because it's really rewarding when you are speaking and understand to other person who speak English or other language. I have problem with my internet. Yeah, me too. I mean, the rain is horrible. All right, now. So, in other words, nobody. Uh, Henry, tell me, tell me, Henry. <laughs> Teacher, for me, it's both because my enterprise uh, intrigued me in this program. But for me, I like studying English because it's more competitive. I don't know. Uh -huh. it's more competitive, skilled yes. More competitive. competitive. Uh -huh. Uh, more skill in my work because it's necessary. Okay. So guys, nobody was sent as an obligation to this course, for example? No? No, not no. at all. No. I don't no. think so. Yeah, really? no. I don't think so. No, no you know what? I'm, I'm asking because sometimes companies, they send you to. And you're like, I don't want to go, I have to, all right? But it's very good to see that you guys are here because of your own will, all right? So that's super. All right. <laughs> all right, I'm going to show you a PPT right now, the same one. All right, let's see. Gerardo, can you read this for me, please? Okay. What is a professional development? Professional development, PD, is a consciously designed, consciously, consciously designed, systematic, um, process that strengthens, 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 strengthens how to stuff, obtain, retain and apply knowledge, skills, and attitudes. And attitudes, okay, very good. So profession, thank you, uh, Gerardo. Professional development is a consciously designed systematic mm -hmm. process that strengthens staff obtain, retain, and apply knowledge. Because here, guys, okay, now, for example, I can say, okay, I speak English, all right? Now I learned to speak it, but can I, my, can I retain the information? Can I keep it in my mind? And can I apply uh -huh. it? Can I actually talk to a foreigner? Can I actually translate something? Can I actually like make myself understood? Can I convey the ideas properly? In this case that we're learning English, all right? and also the skills, and look, attitudes. And this is what you guys were saying, all right? This is not only, guys, this is not only about the knowledge you've got, the knowledge that you are processing or learning or obtaining, but it's also about attitudes, okay? Like the attitude that you can show towards your job, your company, your own personal self, that's very important. So if you notice, uh, definition that I chose for you guys is very complete. It's a full definition. It includes everything, not only the knowledge, all right, but also the skills and also the attitude. Everything goes hand in hand, all right, like it goes together. It's a perfect match. Sometimes, and you're not going to let me lie, sometimes you find people that they are very knowledgeable, all right, that they are like, wow, you know, you talk to them and you say, my goodness, this person knows a lot, but their attitude is not so great. All right. And then you're wondering, hmm, you know, how come this person is not, for example, in a higher position if he knows or she knows a lot, but maybe it's because of her attitude. All right. Maybe she or he obtained the information 
but did not retain it, you know, and didn't make it personal. All right. So, okay, I learned it, but but so what? You know, I don't do anything with that. Hi, Guillermo. All right. So it's very, very important for you to combine your knowledge, your skill, and your attitude. That is what that is why I like this um definition because it combines everything. I don't know if you guys agree or disagree with that definition. I would like to hear some opinions. Do you want me to show it to you again so you can read it and kind of think about it and tell me if you agree or not with this definition I brought up for you? I agree with, with that definition, but okay. it's in, interesting the, that the, it's a consciously designer Mm -hmm. um process systematic right. process mm -hmm. but uh, how can you design uh, uh your professional development some right. some uh, some companies actually mm -hmm. they yes. develop the, their their human their their staff right they develop their staff but sometimes right. you have to do by your own but this is kind of interesting for me right to consciously design, design. Yeah. my own professional right. development okay in yeah case, i've been i've been designing my professional development okay many times uh -huh. yes of course very good thank uh, you the, some companies don't don't really right of course yeah okay very good yes williams i don't know if you wanted to say something and i think i have another hand up i'm, I'm sorry sorry i i i <laughs> that's okay no that's okay williams that's fine yes. uh, uh, norma you wanted to yes, say something norma I am agree with the I agree the mm -hmm. statement. Uh, okay. The professional development is uh, in nowadays in the companies is a process, mm -hmm. a systematic process because uh, is related to your loyalty, uh, mm -hmm. loyalty, loyalty, loyalty mm -hmm. uh, for the person. Because imagine in my case, yes, I have. Uh, 20 23 years with the company okay and i am starting as supervisor okay and um, i am grow, uh, grow up in my skills right in my um, experience, experience right experience yes and and i uh, receive a uh, in uh, in different program for the company a uh, different uh, Capacitation, like workshops, yes, workshops, workshops, mm -hmm. workshop, uh, and training in another countries, in another uh, associates, okay, in order to increase my my knowledge, all right, and my ability, okay, and, that and your process, skills, uh, provide opportunities to grow up. To grow, in the company yeah. In different positions. All right. And also, the companies uh, obtain more benefits mm -hmm. when the people in the, mm. in the manager position yeah. have a, a, a knowledge in the first position in the company. Okay. Because the knowledge is better mm -hmm. in the opinion, suggestion, in the. In the um, improve yeah. to the right. pro different processes better too. okay all right perfect thank you Norma. all right okay someone else me teacher yes tell me Diana. Uh, it's important what norma said because in some companies it's really important the loyalty because right. some companies uh, they invest in your in your education in right your professional in your development, development yes <laughs> because they want they want to uh, to retain you to mm -hmm. what because they have to they, they want to apply to they want to uh, for you to apply your knowledge inside the company right not outside right yes okay mm -hmm. very good all right someone else meet teacher okay 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 in my case i agree with this statement because uh, Professional development is a process, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it's uh, really important the attitude. Mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes people know a lot, 
but the attitude is bad. Right. So professional de development is a good individual mm -hmm. and for the company. Right. Individual because you, if you have professional development, you earn more money. Right. And if for the company, because if the company give a good service, mm -hmm. uh, it has uh, more profit. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yeah. So it's a it's a win win situation then. Yes. All right. Very yes. good. Okay. Interesting. Anybody else? One more opinion, and then I'll I'll show you the me, next slide. Just, yes. Tell me. Uh, in my case, um, I work. Um, I said yesterday that I work uh, with teenagers. Um, mm -hmm. he help. Okay. Yes. Um, to to get a uh, first employees. Right. Yes. Um, uh -huh. I work uh, very much with human resource enterprise. Oh, okay. And the people uh, always or um, casi siempre. Almost always. Most always uh, uh, found a uh, um, a profile. Okay. A, a profile with with good attitude. Good okay. attitude. Oh, all right. Uh -huh. Good attitude is a very important for the enterprise because uh, the teenagers uh, sometimes um, don't have experience. But right. uh, if the teenagers uh, have a good attitude, mm -hmm. is is the best for the enterprise. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Thank you, Irene. Very well done. Um, anybody else? Anybody else wanna wanna say something? Someone else wants to say something, or you're okay? All right. Okay. So here, then we go on to the next slide here, and then I have. Remember that on this slide here, I said we're gonna talk about what is it. We just did. All right. We discussed it. Now I'm gonna show you the types of professional development within a company times individually for example you taking online classes is a, pro, is a professional development okay so here I'm just gonna move us from uh, this side of the screen so here I have some types of professional development okay like trainings kind of thing one of them is being taught courses like this one right now everything is online all right because of the uh, COVID-19 nothing is being taken like within schools or universities or colleges all right then we have self-study courses we have seminars or webinars because now we have this um this online life now all right we have workshops like uh, norma was mentioning we have networks conferences job shadowing mentoring job rotation and open lectures and seminars okay now these guys i have taken this type of professional development uh, uh, yeah these types of professional development from a university from the united states i'm not going to mention the name of the university because that's not relevant but what i'm saying is they believe that if you take this any of this type of professional development strategies or courses then that increases of course your own uh, skills knowledge and attitude so what I want you to do right now guys is I want you to take a picture or a screenshot of these ones all right of this is right right now and what you're going to do is I'm gonna send you to your uh, breakout rooms and I want you to come up with what is a taught course? What is self-study course? I don't want you to give me an example. I want you to give me a definition. All right. What do you understand by taught courses? Courses. What do you understand by self-study courses? Seminars, mentoring, job rotation. If you have something that you have no idea what it is, it's okay. All right. Because we're going to come back and we're going to share what we know. Okay. Maybe I don't know, but maybe Jesenia knows. Okay. So that is why, and that is, that is why it's important for you to participate on your rooms, on your little groups, or small groups, okay? okay? Do you understand what you guys are gonna be working on right now? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Excellent, okay. perfect. Okay, yeah, all right. So I'm gonna stop sharing here, but you know what? Before I send you to your groups, it's five to seven, so I'm gonna take the atten I mean, five to seven, five to nine. I'm gonna take the attendance right now, okay? So please, 
stay present when I call your name and make sure that your uh, cameras are on. They should be on like during the whole class, but especially now, it, they, please turn them on. All right, Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. Eli Larin. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, present. Very good, thank you, Eli. Today is the 28th, right? Very good, okay. Uh, Eric Alirio Perez. Yes. Hi, present. Thank you. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Henry Vladimir del Cid Tepas. Present, teacher. Yes. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. All right. Uh, Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Present teacher. Very good. Andrea María Trabanino Alfaro. Okay. All right. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Present. Okay. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Present teacher. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present teacher. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Present teacher. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Eh, Verónica Lisset Soto Cerna. Verónica Lisset Soto Cerna. Presente. Present. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Eh, eh, Verónica. Yeah. Nubia Araceli Cortez Amaya. Present. Thank you. Very good. Excellent, guys. Very nice. Thank you. All right, very good. Okay, guys, thank you so much for staying present. Okay, so with that in mind, I'm going to send you right now to your breakout rooms. Please come up with your own definitions. Please do not Google. <laughs> All right, the idea is for you to like, you know, to uh, express your ideas and express yourselves and come up with the best, the best um, idea of what these types of uh, professional development are. All right, so I'm going to send you right now. I'm going to be entering to your groups and everything to check up on you, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, very good. There we go. Eh, Diana and Diana. Hi, Hi. Eli. Hi, Irene. Hi, teacher. Hi, Eli. How are you? Hi, so so, teacher. I know, I know, Eli. Thank you for being in class today. All right. Yes, teacher. 
I I'm sorry for the for the turning on uh, your camera. The camera. I know. I understand. Don't worry about it. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, um, Ellie. Let's let's see if um, Irene. Teacher, is, yes, Ellie. You can you can explain what the what the word doing. Yeah, right now, Ellie, you're supposed to. porque casi no le entendí, teacher. Vaya, Eli, no se preocupe. Eh, esto que está acá, no sé si lo ve. ¿Lo ve, Eli? Yes, I, te, I can, you can see? take the picture. Ok, so, con Irene, creo que ya, eh, Irene está aquí con nosotras. Irene. Bueno, la idea, ya voy, ya voy a ver dónde está Irene, Eli. Eh, la idea es que ustedes definan o me, en sus propias, con sus propias palabras qué es un taught course, qué es un self-study, un seminar, qué es un workshop, ¿all right? Uh -huh. All right, una por una. No dándome okay. ejemplos, sino que como una definición corta. Verbal, oral, nada eh, más. Si, usted, si la puede escribir, la escribe. Si no, solo se acuerda porque la, cuando regresemos le voy a hacer preguntas. O sea, le voy a preguntar uh -huh. a los demás. Uh -huh. All right. Very good. Ok, teacher. Irene. Okay. Hola. Si no, la, voy, a, voy a buscar a Irene. Si no, la mando a otro grupo. Eli, oye. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Definir, definir. Most of the companies, they send you to a seminar. Yeah, to seminars. To learning uh, sales or, uh, I, I don't know, the topics. Topics, yes, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, and what about workshops? And what do you think, Irene? What is workshop? Workshop is like, like a, a similar than, than seminars, but, but it's a, like a taller. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> but you work in, in, in groups or? I, I think it's, uh, I didn't know what a workshop it was, but in this class, uh, or, or classmate Norma, it says uh, in Spanish, capacitación, uh, and the teacher said that it, that the word for that, for that in, in English is workshop. That's right, yes, that's what it is, Diana. Okay. Yeah, okay. it is Thank a you. workshop. <laughs> a workshop is a capacitación. You don't say capacitation, right? You say a workshop. <laughs> or a okay. training. All right, yeah, very good. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Where? It's weird that that, that word. The word really? Weird? Yeah, workshop. Workshop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. work right. So. Uh, right. It sounds weird, but that's what it is. That's a, that's a nice sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, about networks, it's a. Uh, well, I have the idea, but I know I don't know how to express. Yeah. I think it's it, it, it's it's like a. Sorry, it's like a, yeah. a, um, a webinar, uh, like a webinar, uh, for example, in Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp group, maybe. Yeah, okay, maybe when you send people. some people or some companies or training people. Uh, like a, not, not, like like a network of, of people, I think, that works like in the same as you or... Uh, or in, in another things, but they are like your network because they are the people that you know. I think that is a, a network, but I'm not sure. I don't sure about the people sorry. that you know. Neither. I think that is network. Because people that you know. The people that you know, yes. Yeah. Uh, because you, when you uh, are in a workshop, uh, the people, the, the person that is giving the, the, the workshop, they said that you have to talk with the other people. Some advices to, or... Yeah, because you have to to make bigger your network, to make your network okay. bigger. 
Yeah. Okay. Like Herbalife. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't <Something> know. Like, <laughs> like Herbalife. I think life. so. <laughs> yeah. <Excellent>. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Another example. Do you want? Uh, do you want work at your home? No kidding, eh? Do you want? Very good. No kidding. Do you want to be your machine? Machine. Machine operator. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Is uh, the uh, workshop about this uh, this kind of the the, the um. To learn about the, 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 for example, patronage or hairstyle or about the, the, the teach to, to many kinds of, of um, just a, a workshop in support give a different a different size of workshop because I live in Sonsonate, but it's uh, near to Agape. And this place, they are different workshop about the the waiters, the bartender, mechanic, uh, offer different yes. workshop. Yes, in uh, informatica too. Mm. Yeah. Computers. Yes. How do you say, teacher? Computer, Computer awareness. Computer? Computer awareness. Awareness. That's right. Computer yes. Mm -hmm. yes. The first awareness. is about this time, uh, this kind of oh, the the, the words. Um, for example. Hi, Norma. Hi, Nubia. Teacher, yes. professional. Excuse me. About the, uh, uh, economic. Okay, I will speak with Nubia mm -hmm. about that that um, the government position. Okay. Because I, I tell us uh, for her mm -hmm. one one case when I know uh, one people. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the Ministerio de Trabajo. Okay. And this person had a 32 years working in that position, in okay. the same position. Wow. Imagine, 32 years. And when I speak with the person, the, the, the person very prepared because had a um, university uh, degree, Mm -hmm. They had a more uh, uh, um, um, many uh, master degree around the country. Mm -hmm. uh, the people speak two language. Okay. Uh, imagine in the same position. Wow. It's very frustrated. Yes. Because uh, Nubia said, when you invest money, time, sacrifice, mm -hmm. yeah, is for we expect receive. That's right. Uh, yes. Different opportunities. All right. Yeah. That that could be frustrating, Norma and Nubia. Yes. Yeah. It's frustrating. It is frustrating. Very good. All right. Were you able to finish, Norma and Nubia, with the definition of each of the types of professional development? I don't take the the picture teacher for the, the, the definition you put in the, in the... Oh, in the you concept. didn't take the picture? No. Oh. And I said, uh, search in the WhatsApp and I don't... Uh, yeah, no, no, okay. it's, it's here, yeah. You wanna take a yeah. picture right now? Yes. Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay. Without courses, teacher, what is the meaning? Ah, that's what I want you to tell me. What is a taught course? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Norma, I'm not going to help you right now. <laughs> okay. Nubia? <laughs> Taught. 
self-study courses is when you can, can learn for your own uh, medias or for your own uh, abilities related to, to, um, to using the internet or books or something or pay a specific seminar. Okay. In seminar is when you go in presencial uh, seminar uh, for the work or when you pay your own your own topics you need to learn. In workshop uh, is Workshop is similar to leadership teacher. Workshop is like a training, Norma and Nubia. Uh -huh. Okay. And network is when you uh, using the webinars or uh -huh. or um, conference. Right. In the network. Okay. And conference is similar to that uh, activities have in that moment with the English online. Right, yeah, very good. All right, Norma and Nubia, I'm gonna go to another group, okay? If you need my help, let me know, okay? okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Well, if people think, well, it's okay, it's, just, it's a really stable, uh, stable job, okay? Once you get in, uh, it's, it's really hard to, to, to be sucked. Well, okay. teaching is difficult to be inside. It's really difficult. Teacher. Hi. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hey. Hi, thanks. Okay, so how, how are you doing? Yeah, we are looking for some... Definitions? Okay, for the all right. Definition. Okay. And uh -huh. some of the, of, the, of the definition for the words we we, <coughs> we think that mm -hmm. the the words are the, are the same. Okay. But with the, with a little different. Right. Aspects. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Some of them yeah. are related. Right. Yes. All right. Uh, we couldn't find a really uh, uh, an exact definition. Between, yeah. Uh -huh, or a clear difference between conference, seminar, and the All open right. lectures. Ah, uh, all these right. three things are kind of, uh, kind of uh, almost the same. You know, uh, conferences, I guess one of the biggest differences of conferences is just a conference. I mean, you don't really do anything with it. I mean, not that you don't do anything uh, with it, but you don't do anything while you are at a conference. You go, you sit down, and you listen. Yes, all right? Okay. A seminar is more like, okay, there's a conference going on, but most likely the, the speaker is gonna tell us to do things or it's gonna like we're gonna do like we're gonna it's gonna be more like hands-on all right because there's mm -hmm. a seminar going on about something so you're supposed to do this with what i'm uh, what i'm saying right a conference is just a conference all right like they, they you listen okay. and that's it all right and open uh -huh. lectures can be like a conference but you take part of them all right, like what we're doing here right now is like I give you a question and then you kind of think or you tell me what you think about it more. So you're, there's like a it? more mm -hmm. active participation within the lecturer and the listener. All right, so yeah. there's a discussion kind of yes. thing. Mm -hmm. But they do relate. I mean, they're very related. Yes, I relate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah, it's like workshop and seminar also. All right. Uh -huh. In a workshop, you actually actually you develop a product. Right. That's right. You learn by doing. By That's doing right. That. Yes, you learn by doing. Usually, a workshop is longer, also. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice. Thank you guys. So you're pretty much done, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So give me like two more minutes, uh, tops, and then we're coming back to the main session. All right. Okay. Don't worry. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. you. Thirty-two years old, and you? Thirty-two. Yes, I'm thirty-seven. 
Ooh, I'm, old, I'm older than yeah. you guys. Stop saying the age already. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. That's, a, that's not a nice topic, guys. Come on, don't share your ages. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm teacher. I, I speak the, this topic. Right. Yes, I think I understood. All right, very good. All I, right. Uh, only no high idea is the first tip by my partner. He was helping you? Uh -huh, okay. yes. Excellent, <laughs> Eddie. You. All right, very nice. Thank you, Eddie, for that. Very good. Thanks. So, Eddie, were you able to go over all the, uh, the uh, types of professional development? Yes? Yes, yes, we review all the types and, and, and we think we have an idea all right um, or oh, what they are okay yeah, what they are all right very good yeah. okay perfect thank you okay so we're going to go back right now to the main session and then we're going to discuss and see what we can we can come up with okay okay, okay. perfect thank you Hello. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi. Hello. All right. Hi. I think everybody's back with me or with us here. All right. So, thought courses. What are those? What do you? What comes to your mind when we say thought courses? Uh huh. When a thought teacher teaches. When teaches. a teacher teaches. <laughs> when a teacher teaches. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That comes to my mind. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. When yeah. When. A taught course is when a course is being taught by someone, by a teacher, by a professional in that field. It can be a course taught by a doctor. If you're like a doctor and you're taking this course that a doctor may teacher, but he's the one teaching you about this course, all right? So any type of professional that is in front of you, all right, teaching a course, it's a taught course, all right? Usually you have um, like, a monitor, all right. Someone teaching. Okay. Is that? Can you guys you, hear you, that? You. Or it's only me. You, 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 you. <laughs> it's when you. It's so. It's when you're teaching or when you're learning. When you are being taught. When you are being. Williams. I'm sorry. I, 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 I. <laughs> yeah, there's this big one. Eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's that? What's that? I'm sorry. It's a, it's a vibration. It's yeah, a... no kidding. Yeah. I <laughs> it's not me, right? I'm not going crazy right now. Okay. It's real. Yeah. All right. I think we. Uh, something. Yeah. <laughs> so it's okay. when you are teaching, or when you are learning. I when don't... you're learning, Williams. All right. Okay, a thank you. course is when you thank go you. to a course that is taught to you by someone, a teacher or mm -hmm. a professional on that field, all right? But usually that is, there is a monitor. A monitor or a facilitator is someone that is like guiding you through the course, all right? Okay. Yes. All right, very good. Thank you. Okay, guys, what about self-study courses? What are they? Yes, Henry, tell us. Maybe it's one you study for yourself, a okay. uh, a book or a wise uh, document. Right. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're on the right track. Someone else? Ideas of self study courses? We were talking about uh, self study courses. It's when you are uh, learning by yourself. Right. Maybe when you are uh, watching videos from YouTube. Right. Okay, yeah. In order okay. to, to, to learn something, how to do something or something okay. like that. Sure, okay, anybody else? You don't have a teacher in these right. type of courses. Yeah, you, you, you learn reading, watching, right. or listening, That's but right. don't have a teacher. Someone behind the screen, right? <laughs> All right, yes. so in this case, guys, the difference between self-study courses and thought courses is that, like what you guys just said, 
Self-study courses are the ones that you do by yourself. There is nobody behind the screen, all right? They, not even someone um, that is like recorded and you're, you're listening to that person, all right? I mean, self-study courses, there are a lot now, especially because of the crisis that we're having. Suddenly there are a lot of self-study courses where you listen to a recording perhaps, or they send you the reading that you have to read or the video that you have to watch. And they just tell you on a PPT or some kind of um, tool that they use on the internet, what you should do next, all right? Uh, for example, my husband right now is taking a course on how to teach online. But this course, there's nobody behind the screen here. So they send him a documentary or they send him information that he has to read and then he has to answer the questions that uh, they are there posted already all right so self-study courses you take them on your own time on your own pace and then you're just like following the tasks that the, you are being assigned all right and you do it by yourself so this course that we're taking right now is not a self-study course because i'm here all right and you're acting with me yeah so this is not a self-study course, all right? Uh, some other places, they do have English like this, like they teach English, like self-studies, all right? That they, yeah, they, they just present to you the grammar topic and you have to understand it on your own, all right? But yeah, what about seminars, guys? What are seminars? Seminars is uh, uh, imparted to to a professional mm -hmm. for a professionals and uh, talk about the, the specific topic okay. and, and maybe for example a, a doctor mm -hmm. or a psychologist yes of course or a engineering mm -hmm. about Many times, many kinds of um, uh, for example, they uh, share mm -hmm. your your their, knowledge, their knowledge, their knowledge, uh -huh. and experience mm -hmm. about the the, okay. the whatever thing. Okay, but of any topic, right? Okay, very good. Thank you, Jennifer. Who else has something about seminar, guys? Can I? Yes, of course. Sure. Please. Yes. Okay, for me, seminar is a more large course. It can be workshop seminars because okay. seminar is a more formal, mm -hmm. a more formal workshop okay. or training can be more okay. formal training. And that you had uh, um, interaction okay, yes. with a teacher uh -huh. or with a facilitator. One principal can be, All right. and you obtain a uh, what? What a diploma can be? Yeah, you diploma. Right. A diploma. Okay. All and right. for for your formation because for your training, but okay. the seminar is the most formal oh, training okay. than another okay interesting that you show in that list. okay very nice thank you all right someone else with seminar me teacher yes tell me uh, uh, nowadays the seminars has become for example is the awareness yeah because uh, by the COVID, we can stay together taking a seminar. Yeah. And now is a webinar. The, <laughs> the talk is the webinar. Right, yes. It's the same, uh, but okay. the difference is the taking online. All right, yeah, of course. All right, very good. Thank you, Vero. Anybody else with seminars? Okay, teacher. Yes, tell me. Guillermo. Uh, for me, a seminary uh, for is a going a more professional, mm -hmm. 
in, in this seminary is uh, a teaching, mm -hmm. uh, enseñanza. Okay, yeah. It's more, it's more uh, professional. Okay. Uh, because uh, after the, the seminary, uh, I practice the, the What you learn. Skill. Okay. Yeah, what I don't know. Okay, all right, very good. So what about workshop, guys? What, is, what are workshops? What's the difference between a workshop and a seminar? Anybody? Workshops in Spanish, there's talleres. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, for example, uh, one, um, how do you say facilitator in English? A facilitator. Facilitator in part to, to many kinds uh, to work, for example, matching operator okay. or, or bartender. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, no. Okay. All uh, right. For, for example, um, in part many kinds of courses to, to, to people, uh, um ap approve aprovechar take advantage 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 to to opportunity for 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 work okay in in many kinds of um companies okay all right uh, okay. okay very good interesting all right henry then andrea and then norma uh-huh Henry, tell us. Okay, for me, I think the difference in the seminar and workshop is mm -hmm. the workshop is more participating. You yeah. learn it, yeah. participating. Right. In the seminar participating. is uh -huh. more listening. Mm -hmm. All right. The, maybe in the world, uh, it's common to do, do doing workshop. Okay. For example, in the customer service, mm -hmm. you part, participate. Um, you participate? Okay. Participant uh, when you doing okay. the, All right. this activity. All right. Very good. Thank um, you. All right. Andrea and then Norma. Yes. Okay. I believe in a workshop. Uh, you give a delivery at the end. All right. Yeah. You a give result. A yeah. A result. A, result, a yes. delivery at the mm -hmm. end of the workshop. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Seminar, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Andrea and then Norma. Uh, I think that uh, workshops are uh, small groups mm -hmm. that you in which you um, workshops are small groups and you are learning, like Henry said, mm -hmm. doing the, the things. Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. And in seminars, I think that like, like the audience is mm -hmm. bigger. Right. And you are like only listening and right. writing, but yeah. not participating. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. Boring. <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank sometimes, you. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> All right. Andrea, nice that you were in class. Thank you. Vi cuando entró. Very nice. Thank you, Andrea. Hace ratito. Very good. Jennifer, a ver. No, no, no. Normita, a ver. What do you want to say? Norma? Teacher, in, in my opinion, the workshop is when you receive the information about the topic, mm -hmm. but you, in the same course, you make the practice yeah. for that knowledge. Right, yes. And then at the, at the end for the course, mm -hmm. you know that the theory can The theory, the theoretical, yes. And also, you can put in, in you apply that information right. in one case okay or in one imagine if you are, said what a, a partner said when you receive the practice in mechanic or another right thing, yeah you you put put putting on mm -hmm. that knowledge in in that that one specific process right okay very good all right thank you 
Guys, you guys are so smart, eh? Very nice. Okay. Um, I mean, we have described pretty much what a workshop and a seminar is. Usually, uh, a workshop, at the end of the workshop, you're going to present a result. Maybe it's not something that you're going to create as in like, I'm going to create this machine, all right? But I'm going to create this a new budget. I'm going to create this... Um, I don't know, poster if you want. At the end, you present something. And then you, Andrea's right. It also, workshops are for small audiences, like not that many people. Seminars, you come in, you do participate. Conference, all right? They are longer than a conference because a seminar usually takes like a couple of days and the audience is bigger, it's larger, all right? There are many, many people there attending. And sometimes the speaker, he or she tells you a question and then you have to like answer it to yourself and just kind of copy things and stuff. But you really don't present any result at the end. All right. Not like a workshop that usually a workshop you have to create or you have to come up with like taking into account all the theory, like all the theory, you have to make it like into practice. All right. So that's pretty much what the difference between workshop and seminars are all right what about networks what are networks anybody yes uh, for me network is uh, uh, some people use uh, for business mm -hmm. or for information okay personality or a specific group um, uh, for example, in on on uh, have an an networks mm -hmm. not nowadays okay. because the the situation, but right is is necessary. But uh, for join um, to join mm -hmm. co co custom, 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 uh, mm -hmm. in business for me. Okay. All right. All right, Eddie, um, what do you think it is, uh, networks? When we say um, network, what do you think, uh, what comes to your mind? I'm not sure, but sounds like when you have a, a, a net, network of contacts right. and, and you share knowledge. Right, or information, other, that's yes, right. Or information. Yeah. That's right, yes. Network guys is like a, a group of, people or I don't know businesses or corporations that you have like links to all right and then you share the information, information. Uh, uh, links and all about the business mm -hmm. all right so it's very very like in a way it's like very um techy all right because it's like through like networks of things all right very good Let's go on quickly with conferences, which we already said is similar to seminars and stuff. All right. I don't know if someone has anything about conference. No? Conference. Uh-huh. Teacher, I'm not sure if conferences are necessary shorter than a seminar. Right. They are. Usually they are, Diana. Very good. Yes. Okay. And a conference, you come and you sit and you listen and you leave. <laughs> all right, is the speaker giving you the conference, the, the speech of something, all right? So, um, but they are like way much, or like when talking about a length of time, is way much like shorter than a seminar, all right? Very good. Do you understand the term job shadowing? Job shadowing. Uh huh. What's job shadowing? No, I don't understand, teacher. Job yeah, shadowing? Yeah, I, tell me. Maybe <laughs> sombra. Yeah, shadow is a sombra. Very good. <laughs> okay. When when someone learn about uh, the job that another person That's is right. doing, That's but right. it's basically uh, it's be side to side with the person learning what he or or she does. That's right. Job shadowing, just like Andrea said, is for example, I'm new to this company. And Andrea has been working for this company the la for the last five, 10 years. So she knows what, how to do how to her position. And I just kind of follow her around, all right? So I know I'm sitting next to um, 
to Andrea to see how she does everything. I pay attention. I kind of like, I'm her backup, you know, but I, I have to be there and I have to pay attention to what she's doing. All right. Some people say that through job shadowing, you will learn fast because you are watching the other person do it. All right. So, but that's one of another, like it's a, it's an interesting type of professional development. All right. What about mentoring? I, I thought. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Sure. Oscar, you were going to say something. I, I thought shadowing was a kind of uh, you were working and someone is supervising you or watching mm. you closely. I mm. thought shadowing was that. No, it's the other way what around. Yeah. Job shadowing is when someone, what, for example, what you. What Andrea thinks. Right, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, when you someone new, maybe not new to the company, but new to that position that is going to be opened, all right? So I kind of follow mm -hmm. Jennifer around to see what she does and how she does it, all right? So that that would be job shadowing. Uh, okay. All right, very good. What about mentoring, guys? I got Mentoring I got is uh, about the um, similar to teach Similar to job shadowing because, also. Yes, but mentoring is when one, one, uh, one work, worker mm -hmm. uh, teaching the Teaches, same, yes. the same, teaching the same work. Right. And other people. Right. The difference between job shadowing and mentoring is that job shadowing, you are paying attention because it, you are interested on how to do it. All right, you want to learn how Diana does her job, all right? But Diana's not really telling me anything. Diana knows that I'm behind her all the time, all right? But mentoring is when Diana says, okay, Jessica, I'm going to teach you how to do this, all right? And then Diana guides me step by step, and she's my mentor. She's my teacher. She's my facilitator, all right? So I said, oh, Diana, well, how, did you, how did you do this again? And then Diana explains the process again, all right? There's someone telling me what to do and how to do it. On job shadowing, I'm the one paying attention, all right? I'm just kind of following Diana around to see how she does it, all right? What about with job rotation? Job rotation is when you work in a company, but you don't have a specific position. In mm. it. You can have different roles or okay. play roles in the, the company. For example, today you can have a cashier, Tomorrow okay. you can be a the customer manager. service, for example. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I don't see so. Yes. But uh, the the idea is that you can roll different positions into the company. Right. Yeah. And then you, as the employee, you know all the uh, different roles or positions that are being developed in the company. All right. So job rotation is like. Like, just like uh, Williams explained it, like today I will learn, or today I'm the cashier, but tomorrow I'm going to be on customer services. So I know all the, all the rules, all the policies, all the things that I have to do in each job. This happens a lot on sweatshops or factories, all right? Uh, that there are some people, I don't know if you have heard the word comodín for a maquila, yeah. for example, all right? So the, this comodín, this commodine guy knows all the operations on a sweatshop or on a factory, all right? Because he or she's always rotating, all right? And they are learning how to do things. So in a way, you become a pro because you know a little bit of everything because you have been rotating, all right? It's not only you're stuck on this position for 30 years. You have been rotating that you know how to deal with this and the other department and another department, all right? So that's quite interesting. And then we have open lectures and seminars. Open lectures, what is it, guys? To you, what is an open lecture? Let's not talk about seminars open, because we already did, but what about open conference. lectures? Yeah. All right. Um, but, what, what, but what does it mean when you say open lectures? Aha, uh -huh, so? We weren't sure, but we, we were guessing that uh -huh. maybe open lectures are about uh, some free topics. Okay. We are 
I, I don't, I'm not sure, but okay. maybe it's when a, a, a receptionist is mm -hmm. learning about how to cook or okay. how to huh. make something that is not related with ah, their position. with their position. All right. Okay. Interesting. All right. Any, anybody else? Um, maybe it's when, when one person receives the people mm -hmm. to, 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 um, to go the, the seminars and, and, and just receive and how do you say accommodate? To accommodate? Accommodate uh, inside the, the, inside the salon. Okay. Ah. The, inside the salon uh, and attend the, the, the person. All right, okay. Um, depends the, 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 All right. the people are right. Okay, ah, okay, um, get it. Yes. All right, very good. Anybody else with um, open lectures? Teacher? Yes, tell me. And when uh, some cast, it is free and all public. Ah, okay. All right, open lectures, yes. Anybody else? Anybody with open lectures? No? All right, so open lectures are um, topics that they may or may not relate to your job position in particular, all right? However, I mean, someone has designed them, but an open lecture is more like a participative, all right? Like where the speaker and you are gonna get involved, all right? It's not only him speaking and speaking and speaking, but it's also you taking part of the lecture as well, all right? So it's like, a, I give, you give, all right? So you listen, I listen. So that's an open lecture more like than anything else, all right? But it's free topics in a way that you may take this topic or, or this lecture that may or may not relate to what you work as, but you take part of the lecture. It's not just coming and listening to, you, to, the, to the lecturer or to the speaker, all right? Okay, guys, very good. Did you know all these types of professional developments that we just discussed about? Did you know about all of them or were they new to you, some of them? Yes, I didn't uh, hear about open lectures okay. before. All right, mm -hmm. interesting, all right. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Anybody else? All right, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna take attendance right now because it's time to take attendance. And uh, right after I finish, I'm gonna give you one last question, which is the benefits of professional development. And I'm gonna send you back to your groups and I want you to discuss that with your peers, all right? So let's see, Nancy, Elizabeth, Larin, Chavez, Ellie. I think she was having problem with the internet connection. All right, but she was here. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. Eric Alirio, thank you. Present. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. Present. Henry Vladimir del C. Tepas. Present, teacher. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Fernando Bonilla Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present. Diana eh, Gabriela Hernández Morales. Present, teacher. Andrea Marina Trabanino Alfaro. Present, Present. Eh, María. <laughs> ah, María, si sí, ayer se lo comí. <laughs> perdone, perdone. No. All right, very good. Yes, Andrea. Thank you. Eh, Williams Alexander Rodrigo Argueta. Present. Thank you. Eh, Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Present teacher. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Present teacher. Jennifer Carolina Acosta Bonilla. Present teacher. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. 
present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Present. Silvia Marisol Villalta. Martínez, Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. All right, Verónica Lisset, uh, Lisset Soto Cerna. Present teacher. Okay. Nubia Araceli Cortez Amaya. Present teacher. Excellent, wow. very good. All right, guys, so we're about to finish. Bear with me for like 10 more minutes or so, all right? So I'm gonna show you this. This is what I have for you here. And what we're going to do is this, all right? I want you to take uh, a few minutes to talk about discuss what form of professional development is right for you at your workplace all right i know that most of you are from different workplaces or companies so whatever works for me is not going to work for veronica for example all right so discuss what form of professional development is right for you at your workplace and the following question is this one. all right it's this one right here it's benefits what are the benefits all right what are the benefits of professional development okay so that would be your second question what are the benefits we of have to write and not really if you don't have i mean you don't have to but if you want to remember because we're going to come back and we're going to share ideas so uh you may take notes if you want to but if you remember everything no problem so discuss what form of professional development is right for you and the other one, what are the benefits of professional development, okay? Yeah. Don't discuss. Yeah, discuss it. If you want to take notes, you may take notes. If not, then just discuss it. And then when we come back, we can share the ideas, all right? Okay. Thank you. Let's go back to your breakout rooms with the same people you guys were working with. There you go. Think that is like mm, webinars, but I don't know. Like is seminars? I like webinars in digital world. Uh, webinars. Aha, uh -huh, webinars to to learn and in some cases, uh, after the webinar, we have an evaluation about the webinar when we are learning a new topic. You continue and, to learn. Uh -huh, to learn to, uh, to learn about the different solutions that we sell, uh, mm -hmm. uh, about the, with the different uh, brands that we we manage. Uh, I think that it's webinars and maybe um, when we are in a new position with shadow shadowing shadowing. <laughs> 
Yeah, Joe Shadowing. Shadow. 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 Yes. Yes. For, for me, you, Gerard? For me, uh, in my case, uh, both. You say the the job shadowing. In my case, I don't I don't know how the the job shadowing exists uh, until today. Oh. But in my, <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, in my work is is so so usually to do the job, job shadowing and the network. The network. That's why I think job rotation is the best. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is. Okay, this is. Hi, Diana. Hi. Really, really interesting. Ew, I Hi. don't see you guys. What happened? <laughs> You're in the dark. We are talking about the. Uh, Thank Gabriela. you. Yeah. Ah. Interesting. Yeah. Thank really you. interesting. Tell, tell me, Diana. Yeah. I want to I wanna know. Oh, thank you, teacher. I, I work in a funeral home. You do? Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> why, Dianita? Why? No, I'm kidding, Diana. I, I really love. She's the owner. Job. You're the owner. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am the owner. Oh my goodness, but, Diana. Yeah, that's really. I, I really love my job. It's really interesting. Wow. It's really noble. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, it's. I think it's really noble because someone has to do that job and, and we have to honor the, the, the life of the right. people who has gone. I know, Diana, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, William is right, it's so yeah. interesting. Incredible, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. really interesting. Wow. Yeah. Okay, thank okay. you. <laughs> thank you yeah. because most of the people are like scared. <laughs> really? No, I, I don't think I would be scared. I think I wouldn't be able to do it. I don't deal with death very well. <laughs> All right. Yeah, most of I think, people, yeah. Yeah, most of people don't, yeah. don't deal with death. With I death. know. No. It's, some, it's something really hard to deal with. <laughs> right, yeah. All right. Yeah. But I love my job. I think That's good, uh, Diana. Really interesting. Congrats. Yeah, okay, thank yeah. You. I think yeah. it would be a very good idea if you hated your job and you're stuck. Yeah. <laughs> I just care about talking in English from a group of people. Do you, can you imagine when? I don't know. Oh, I, don't. I, I don't know. Now, Diana, yeah. what kind of what kind of um, professional development or what type of I don't know what trainings do you guys need on your job? I mean, it's it's huge, I guess. Yes, but but uh, the more uh, specific need need mm -hmm. that we have in the funeral home is about the embalming guys because they they need really really specific and technician uh, uh, knowledge okay, and no. skills, right? Uh, but. Yeah, yes, they do like uh, uh, workshops with international uh, people. Oh, really? We have an yeah. We ha we are in a I don't know how to say it association. Yeah, yeah. Funeral homes and cemeteries. Right. Okay. And they and, and they invite people and they have this kind of knowledge and, and skills. Yeah, right. And the, the the sales force and the. Uh, yeah, the customer services people, they have only workshops about the topics. Right. We have, we take uh, some workshops in, in some other associations. <laughs> right. I guess the customer service for this type of business, Diana, they really yeah. have to be super nice. I mean, because, I mean, yeah. you're dealing with people that are suffering, that they just lost someone they loved. So, yeah. and we all know that sometimes customer services in other companies, it sucks, all right? And yeah. they are not very nice. But I guess in your business or this field, they have to be very sensitive and very, I don't know, yeah. sympathetic with the customer. Yeah. Yes, because it's, it's a really tough moment in the, in the customer's life. Yeah. And we don't have, we, we can't be like a robot. Of but course. you can 
be like really sensitive you can be crying with the, mm -hmm. with, the yeah. with the customer but you have to be sensitive that's it's right like yeah. a, a, uh, create a, that empathy with the the person right that it's suffering yeah. wow yeah. diana oh my goodness diana <laughs> <laughs> wow thank you for sharing that it's very nice thank you for being for, for being interested yeah, Interesting. of course. Very nice. I think you guys, I mean, Diana and Irene also and Williams, you guys have really interesting jobs. Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Williams is working on a, a hotel, right? No, at an NGO. NGO. Yeah. Which one do you work NGO. at, Williams? So, what? Which, what is the name of your NGO? Enlace. All right. Okay. Enlace, it's a local NGO, but right. uh, we have um, right, uh, socios in, in the United like States. Like partner, par partnerships. So, partners, yeah, partnerships, yeah. So uh, for, that, for this reason, we have a uh, lot of teams from the United States. Of course, who, yes. Uh, yes. Who's sharing with us about yeah. our work and um, cool. knows the the people around the country. We have right. a lot of work in different co poor communities and right. in, in El Salvador. Right. Uh, we are working seven departments. Okay. And, and it is, uh, the, the job is really nice yeah. because uh, we can work with poor people when the people's, people really have different necessities. That's right. So uh, we can share in with right. their, uh, and we work with them. Okay. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we don't, the, don't do the project. Mm -hmm. we, the, we are uh, sharing with their in right. anchor project. So right. We, okay. We work together. We work together. Yeah, yeah. of course. The NGO, the people of the community, the teams from the United States. So uh, I need my my professional development. That's it. Basically, it's to know English. Right, but, Williams. Yes, but of it, course. Yeah, but it's really hard for me. I I don't know why. Because, uh, I was the, the the best student in my <laughs> in the in the other different topics I right. studied, but English is really hard for me, and but I, I but I continue to try to try to try of to course. try. Yeah. yeah, it's a process. Yeah. Remember, it's a process. Yeah. I mean, nothing is gonna come easy to you, but being persistent and being you know here and just doing everything that's going to increase your professional development of course which in this yeah. case is english very nice i'm so proud of you guys wow my goodness <laughs> nice, <very laughs> thank good. you yeah very nice all right i'm gonna go check another group and then we're almost done okay okay thank you guys so talk about the benefits of the professional development of any kind all right thank you Okay. Especially Thank Irene you. also, because she has to prepare kids for their first employment, right, Irene? That's also something yes. that is very interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah <definitely>. of course. <laughs> very good. Nice. All right. Very good. Uh -huh. nice. Including the, including the, the breakfast, the lunch, and the hi, dinner. Hi, oh, yeah. Hi, oh, break, break the Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. So, what are the professional development? Uh, which professional development is right for you guys on your areas, on your work fields, Go ahead, your workplaces? Okay. <laughs> well, in my case, uh, the taught uh, courses, and then some, but just few, just few shadowing. I mean. Okay. Right. And then uh, we use an OJT practice. Okay. But, uh, actually, I don't know if, if an OJT will be included on, on these uh, professional development types. Can you explain it because a little bit? The OJT, the on-job training. Ah, yeah, of course. It's almost, it's almost the op opos opposite of mm -hmm. job shadowing. Right. In an on-job on -job training, you you execute or do your job right 
and someone is watching you every all the time. Right, someone it's the opposite. Yeah, you. you're right. It's the opposite. And someone is, is supervising you. Uh -huh. Ah, that's, all right. On the job training, yeah. But it is the type of development because you have to develop yourself on doing the skill or the uh, task that you were assigned to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. Okay, it's, it's uh, by doing. It's, it's, right, it's, it's a, by doing. It's a learning for, for doing. For right, doing. Uh -huh. yeah. Right. It's uh -huh. a hands-on, totally hands-on. All right. Uh -huh. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. What about in your case, Moises? In my case, uh, taught courses, mm -hmm. workshops, okay. and go shadowing. Like All right. Like Oscar. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right. Wow. Now, do you think um, to have like professional development of any kind does it have benefits or not yes yeah why always always yeah why do you guys think that because you don't have to uh if you don't i mean you have to keep on constant learning yeah if you want if you don't want to get stuck on a it's stuck yeah in a post stock right in, stuck a, in, in a, a position, position that's right in a position yeah. or in a job right so yeah you have to be always evolving right <laughs> of course yeah always changing uh -huh. oh, always yeah because, very nice okay interesting uh -huh. all right guys we're gonna go back to the main session and then we're about to leave all right thank you guys that was very okay. nice thank you thank you teacher. All right, guys, we're about to leave in a couple of like one more minute. All right. I just want two people, only two people to tell me why do you think or what are the benefits of having a professional development? Mention some benefits. Why do you think is beneficial? What are the benefits of having professional development at your workplaces? Anybody? Me, teacher. Okay. Yes, Me? Andrea. Yes, Andrea. Go ahead. Uh, I think that it's it's important because uh, you have the the opportunity to apply for better positions, okay. to grow okay. up like uh, like person. Right. To grow as a person. Yes. Okay. As a person. Okay. okay. Uh, All right. Very good. Someone else. What are the benefits? Or tell me one benefit of social of uh, professional development. Okay, um, me? Yes, yeah. Jesse. Okay, the, I think in the third benefit is a personal benefit because mm -hmm. you have more self confidence in ah, your life. Okay. And you, you obtain more opportunities to learn new things right. and you have more motivation okay. to Perfect. be the best go in your inside your business all right interesting all right very good guys okay so as you notice we did not really talk about any grammatical stuff today it was like more like an open lecture all right like more like an open class all right where you participated i asked you questions and everything so that's pretty much how it's going to be the rest of the times but sometimes we're going to talk about a little bit of grammar okay so it's a combination of everything Thank you so much guys for being with me have a great night i'll see you guys tomorrow bye see you tomorrow thank bye. you bye bye, bye everybody bye, bye. take bye. care bye, bye. 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 bye.